My name is Tom Sweeney, and I'm a resident of Hopeston. My name is Jane Sweeney, and we're going to read for you today. In the 1940s, the Child Association of America published stories to be read aloud. And today, we're going to read two holiday stories. The first is... Catherine Woolley's The Puppy Who Wanted a Boy. Once upon a time, there was a mother who was a dog who asked her little puppy named Petey what he wanted for Christmas. The little puppy looked at his mother and said, I'd like a boy for Christmas. Yes, you can have a boy if you are a very good puppy. Oh, I'm a good puppy, Mommy. So the day before Christmas, his mother asked him, Have you been a good puppy today? Oh, yes, yes. I didn't frighten the cat. You didn't? Well, I frightened the cat just a little. And did you chew on any shoes? Oh, no, not today. You didn't? Not any slippers or shoes? Well, just a teeny weeny chew. And when you need to go outside? Well, I remember, well, practically always remember when I need to go outside to bark when I need to go out. All right. I guess you've been good, and you're awfully little. I should go out and get you a little boy for Christmas. The little puppy waited and waited and waited. The mother came back and looked at her puppy child. She was very worried. What did you get? Mm, how would you like a white rabbit for Christmas? He's a soft little bunny. No thanks. And look at this little bird cage. I bought you a lovely canary. No, 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 I want a little boy. What about a guppy, a goldfish? No fish, I'd like a boy. I searched everywhere. There are no boys to be had. I couldn't find any. None? They are terribly short of boys. No dog wants to give up their little boy. Mm, I'm so sad. I can't stand it if I never have a little boy. Puppies need someone to play with. There must be a little boy somewhere. I know. I will go out and find a dog who will be glad to have his boy to give his boy away. Do you think I could go search? You're so young, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. So the little puppy started off. It wasn't long before he saw a collie racing alongside a child on a sled. The puppy trembled with joy. If I had a friend who loved to sh sled, I, I could run like anything. I excuse me, I excuse me, Collie, Lassie? Yes? Uh, do you want to give your boy away? And the Lassie said, no, I definitely don't. The puppy watched the sled and the Lassie go out of sight. Oh, I feel dreadful. Mm, I didn't want a boy on a sled anyway. Soon, on the next block, he saw an Irish setter helping a little boy build a snowman. If I had a boy to build a snowman, I could carry the snowman's head in my mouth until the boy needed it. Excuse me. Excuse me, Irish setter. Oh, I'd be jeweled in the glory. What do you need now? D do you want to give up your little boy? No, I definitely don't. <sighs> I don't like building snowmen anyway. I'll just trot off. Soon the puppy saw a wiener dog inside a car, and a little boy was sitting beside his mother. Oh, I'm tired of walking. Oh, I see a wiener dog laughing and taking care of a little boy. I could laugh and enjoy a car ride if I had that little boy. I excuse me, I excuse me, wiener dog, do you want to give away your boy? No, nein, I definitely won't want to do that. Petey just wanted to go home, but Petey suddenly realized he had come a long way for such a small puppy as he was. He looked up, and there was an old, old dog named Scotty walking with a boy. The boy carried Christmas packages. The little boy said, and when we get home, I have a dog biscuit for you. Excuse me, excuse me, Scotty. Do you want to give your boy away? The Scotty carried a package in his mouth. Nope, 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 definitely not. Oh, Petey was cold and Petey was 
lonely. My goodness, where can I find a boy? And Petey went on and on and on in his search. He, he dodged cars. He looked in stores. He looked around corners. And he looked down lanes. Dogs chained to fences ran at him. Mean dogs yelped at him. Someone even threw a snowball at him. Terriers and foxhounds and greyhounds and wolfhounds and pointers and spaniels and beagles. And they all said, no, no, no. I can't find a single dog that will give his boy away. My heart sinks. My ears droop. I recall what my mother had said. Petey, there isn't a boy to be had. Hmm. Now it's Christmas Eve. It was getting dark. Petey was on the edge of town. My paws hurt. He saw a sign over a door. The sign read, Boys Orphan Home. I know what orphans are. They are children that, that have no mother and no dog to take care of them either. Maybe I could find a boy there. He padded up to the walk. There was Christmas music. Through a window, there was a Christmas tree, and there were children singing. But outside, on the front step of the orphan's home, all by himself was a boy. He wasn't very big, and he was lonely. There were tears in his eyes. The puppy leapt up and landed in the boy's lap. The boy's eyes grew wide. Sniff, 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 went Petey's nose. The little boy held the puppy in his lap. Wiggle, wiggle, waggle, went Petey's tail. The boy was glad. Petey licked the boy with his warm, wet tongue. The little boy put his arms around the little dog and hugged him tight. Then the front door suddenly opened. The lady in charge of the orphanage says, Goodness, goodness. What are you doing sitting out here on the front porch? Petey sat very still. The boy looked up at the lady. The lady looked at the puppy. Petey began to tremble. You have a puppy? Why, he looks like a nice dog. Where did he come from? Yes, yes, bring him inside. This is Christmas Eve. Come on in, little puppy. Inside, a crowd of boys uh, all ages came around little Petey. Each wanted to pick him up and pet him. The orphan boys loved the little puppy, and they heard the lady say, Yes, he can stay. We will need to get him a wonderful supper, and we'll need to fix him a nice warm bed. Tomorrow and the day after, you can play with him. The little boy who was on the porch went over and picked him up, and the Puppy loved him the best. And Petey loved the little boy best. What a perfect Christmas Eve here at the orphanage. And Petey thought, who would ever think that I would get 50 boys for Christmas? The end.